Welcome to the Man Cave. I'm your host Nick and welcome back to Let's Talk. This week we're going to be talking about Doctor Strange. Now it just came out like two weeks ago and I saw it opening night and I saw it again like the next day. Now there's going to be some spoilers in this story especially if you don't know the story of Doctor Strange because I'm going to give you a brief rundown of his origin. It was pretty simple. Doctor Strange, aka Stephen Strange, is a neurosurgeon. He is the top of his field and has a lot of things in common with Tony Stark. Now Doctor Strange is driving along home one day in his fancy car. He gets into an accident in which case that he severely damages his hands to the point that they are trembling beyond control. No form of western medicine can seem to fix it, so he decides to go on a pilgrimage to try to find any other way of healing his hands. Which leads him to a place called Karmataj, where he goes to the top of some crazy mountain and finds some crazy weird temple with this one called the Ancient One, where he learns some mystic arts, and uh, then he training, he becomes a prodigy and becomes a sorcerer supreme, yada 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 basic origin story behind Doctor Strange. Now Doctor Strange has a phenomenal cast going behind it right now. Now I actually have a whole thing written out right over here giving me a breakdown of everything going on. Now the ancient one was played by T. Tuck, I have no idea how to say her name, Swinton. Now normally in most comics and in other adaptations of this, the ancient one is played by a man, an old man. But, you know, they wanted a different aspect on how to do it. And really, it doesn't make a difference because the Ancient One is a title. It's not a person. It's all about the title behind it. And she did a phenomenal job. Although, when you look at her, you think of Aang, the Avatar, because she's wearing these yellow, orangish robes, got a bald head, and living at some, like, monk temple. Like, you know, especially there's this one part where she disappears off in somewhere and you're just like, man, when the world needed her, her most, she vanished. Said that to a girl I was with in the movies. She laughed. It was funny. Or it was a pity laugh. It might have been pity. Next, we have Mordo. Mordo is Doctor Strange's best bud and one of his mentors. He is played by his, um, Chin Chihuahua. Hell, I'm not gonna try to say his name, but he nailed the character. He really got that uh, rooted, you know, very stuck to your guns, very self, very disciplined warrior aspect to him, which was just phenomenal, and the character was great. If you've seen the animated movie, he plays the character perfectly, and he just nails it. He's got a great cast, and all the acting was phenomenal. Now we have Rachel McAdams. Now Rachel McAdams is one of my favorite characters I've seen, mainly because she's just gorgeous. And she plays Christine Palmer, one of Doctor Strange's colleagues and a somewhat of a love interest. There's no real scenes like anything like that, but you know, she really plays a good character and they really played her off very well and they didn't give her too much screen time but they didn't give her too little, which was fantastic. You know, she, you really got a sense of who she was and the impact that she had on Doctor Strange, but you didn't feel like she was drawn out. After that, we got Medeus McClaxian. I'm not gonna, I, I apologize for my pronunciation. You're asking a dyslexic to read. Now he plays Kaecilius, the main villain. Now Marvel has this thing going on where the main villain isn't on the screen that much. And unfortunately it's the same case with this. You don't really see a lot of Kaecilius. He does play a decent role and you see him more than in other ones. But a lot of the major fight scenes are with other characters and other side things. So you know, that's Marvel for you. Benedict Wong. Played Wong. And Wong was just funny. He has a, he loved the character, the actor said, and he definitely wants to expand the character's horizon and go further more out there, and you know what? Go for it. Wong was awesome. And then, let's see, do I have anyone else? Oh yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch is a phenomenal actor. He played Sherlock and does play Sherlock in a TV show called Sherlock, alongside Martin Freeman, who is known for his roles in The Hobbit as Frodo. Did I get that right? I hope I got that right. Don't hold me to that. I haven't watched the Hobbit series in so long right now. 
No, Bilbo Baggins. Why did I think Frodo? Gosh. Wow, that was stupid. He plays Bilbo Baggins. Whoa. So, Martin Freeman plays Bilbo Baggins alongside, and now plays Watson in Sherlock Holmes alongside Ben and Cumberbatch, which is also ironic because Bilbo Baggins is one of the main characters in The Hobbit, and also Ben and Cumberbatch voiced Smaug as well as the Necromancer in The Hobbit Desolation of Smaug and The Hobbit Unexpected Journey. He also played Khan, which was a main villain in Star Trek Into Darkness. And he also played Classified, which was a husky slash wolf from Penguins, which is also a really funny movie. So, you know, I love the actor. Sherlock is one of my favorite shows by far, and Benedict Cumberbatch just nailed the character perfectly. He got that real cocky attitude going for him. You think Doctor Strange, you think Tony Stark almost. You got a rich guy, top of his field, gets injured, the injury, the beyond repair basically, and then has to go on this pilgrimage basically, and also, and it ultimately changes his life. Tony Stark became Iron Man with the thing in his heart, Stephen Strange was just like, oh, I can't move my hands and now I become a supreme wizard of everything with the eye of Agamotto around my chest. So yeah. Also, Doctor Strange is one of Marvel's top 10 list of open week top grossing movies in Marvel. Number one being Avengers, two being Avengers Age of Ultron, three being Captain America Civil War, four Iron Man, three, five Iron Man, two, six Iron Man, seven Captain America Winter Soldier, eight Guardians of the Galaxy, nine Thor The Dark World, and 10 being Doctor Strange at 85 million. Now, Doctor Strange was a phenomenal movie. I definitely recommend you go check it out. Up until this point, I really haven't given you any crazy spoilers. If you didn't know the basic knowledge behind the story of Doctor Strange, then... Oh, well. That's your loss, because it doesn't really take away from the story. It was phenomenal, and it was a different take. The costume was spot on, and I loved that they made it fit in, and they took the traditional monk robes and the ensemble and really modified that into a more modern form of the costume. The main villain, of course, besides Kaecilius, is Dormammu. I didn't really like Dormammu that much because I'm more used to a, a more physical form of Dormammu. This was more of a spatial entity. And he was cool and all, and they, he had a little bit in the game thing, but I really would have loved to see more of a fight between... Maybe one day we'll see more of a fight between him and Doctor Strange. If you were actually paying attention, if you have seen this movie, you if you've seen Ant-Man, when... Stephen Strange is with the Ancient One and she throws him through this crazy time warp thing. You actually see the universe that Ant-Man enters when he goes subatomic. So, a little entendre to that. It's also been confirmed that Doctor Strange will be in Thor Ragnarok as well as Avengers Infinity Wars. And also in Doctor Strange there are two end credit scenes. There's one in the middle of the credits where him and Thor are sitting down and they're having a conversation and Doctor Strange is using magic to give him beer that never ends and they're talking about Loki and how they're on Earth trying to find their father Odin because Thor Ragnarok, something happened with Loki, took the throne, Odin's gone missing. Yeah, that happened. So, you're knowing that Doctor Strange is going to help, especially because Doctor Strange is now the Sorcerer Supreme in charge of everything. And if you ha didn't already know this, the Eye of Agamotto, which is an extremely powerful piece of magic, is actually an Infinity Stone, which is going to play a big role in the Infinity Wars, of course, coming up. So that was hinting at Thor Ragnarok and the transgressions that's going to be going down between Thor, Loki, Odin, and Doctor Strange. Now also Infinity Wars is going to be happening, that's the Infinity Stone comes a long way, alongside the Visions Infinity Stone, the Ether. What other Infinity things have we got? We've got the purple one from Guardians of the Galaxy. We just haven't found the, the red one was the Ether. Green one's Eye of Agamotto. Mind Stone is on the Vision. Tesseract. I think we have all the Infinity Stones have already been clarified, so all we're waiting for is freaking Infinity Wars to happen already. And if you stay towards the very end of the credits, there's one more scene with Mordo. Mordo, Mordu, I think Mordu, and you get to see a bit more of him, and it's leading that there probably is going to be a Doctor Strange 2, which I can't wait for. It is a great movie, definitely recommend you check it out, and you know, awesomeness. I'm a super nerd, 
if you haven't already checked out uh, our other videos and paid attention in the background, I've got memorabilia up the wazoo of Marvel and DC and superheroes, and it's, uh, I'm probably going to end up buying the Eye of Agamotto or something like that. So, in summation, go check out the movie, folks. It's a great movie, and let me know what you thought of the movie itself. And also let me know what you thought of today's video, and leave a comment down below. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to this channel and to this video. If you have an idea of what you would like me to talk about next, leave a comment down below of what it is, and I'll, and I'll hopefully get to it. And as always, folks, stay manly. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw today, be sure to click that subscribe button right over here. And if you want to see one of our previous episodes, check it out right up there. And if you want to check out my Let's Talk series, you can just click the link right up here to bring you to our latest video. And as always, folks, stay, stay manly! manly. Ah! Ah!